Glenn Elliott, Build It, The Rebel Playbook for World-Class Employee Engagement. Welcome to the world of Build It, The Rebel Playbook for World-Class Employee Engagement by Glenn Elliott. In this summary, you'll dive into the intricacies of engaging employees and learn how to cultivate a motivated and invested workforce. This book breaks down the crucial aspects of employee engagement through a unique 10-component model called the Engagement Bridge Trademark. Discover how open communication, clear purpose, mission, values, leadership, management, learning, recognition, and well-being contribute to creating an engaged workforce. Expect to gain insightful knowledge into specific real-life cases, strategies, and procedures proven to strengthen and enhance organizational culture. Unlocking Employee Engagement Employee engagement isn't about simply making workers happy, but rather, ensuring they understand and believe in an organization's direction, see how their role contributes to its goals, and are genuinely invested in its success. Engaged employees result in stronger, more innovative businesses as they make better decisions and contribute actively to a company's growth. In today's fast-paced technological world, engagement is more crucial than ever, companies must cultivate highly engaged, adaptable employees to succeed in the ever-changing landscape and avoid the fate of businesses like Blockbuster, which failed to adapt. While happiness does play a role in an employee's experience, true engagement transcends this simple metric. What sets truly engaged employees apart is understanding and believing in the direction their organization is taking, recognizing the value of their role within the company, and being genuinely invested in the success of the organization. Engagement has a significant impact on business success. Companies with highly engaged employees often see improvements in decision-making, innovation, customer service ratings, and even reduced staff absences. For example, an internal study at British retailer Marks & Spencer found that stores with high employee engagement rates had twice the likelihood of obtaining the highest service ratings, while staff absences in these stores were 25% lower. As new technologies rapidly evolve and reshape the modern world, employee engagement becomes increasingly critical. For instance, while it took Radio 38 years to reach 50 million users, Facebook achieved this within a single year, and Angry Birds did it in 35 days. To adapt to this fast-paced environment and avoid obsolescence, companies need engaged and adaptable workers dedicated to achieving success, similar to the way Blockbuster failed to adapt to the rise of online streaming. The challenge for organizations is cultivating engagement among employees. In the subsequent chapters, readers will discover the author's trademarked model, the Engagement Bridge, specifically designed to foster and sustain employee engagement and drive business success. Building the Engagement Bridge Elliot and Corey's Engagement Bridge concept stems from over a decade of research and offers a tailored approach to achieving an engaged and productive workforce. The bridge has 10 components, including seven core beams and three supporting rocks. The beams incorporate open and honest communication, a defined purpose, mission and values, a balance of leadership and management, and job design with integrated learning and recognition. Supporting the bridge are vital factors such as pay and benefits, workspace design, and employee well-being, including physical, mental, and financial health. Implementing these components can lead to a sustainable, engaged workforce and a stronger organization. Building trust through transparency Companies that prioritize openness and honesty foster a more productive working environment and strengthen trust among employees. This can be achieved by recognizing the prevalence of dishonesty in business practices and implementing transparent policies, such as publishing employee salaries and encouraging frequent communication. By committing to this level of transparency, companies can create a more inclusive and valued workforce. In order to create a productive working atmosphere, establishing a strong foundation of openness and honesty is crucial. This is the key to gaining the trust of employees, which can often be lacking in corporate environments due to a culture of dishonesty and strategic self-presentation. This dilemma is exemplified in practices like interview skills, 
where job applicants present an embellished version of themselves or legal departments that write complex policies to avoid potential lawsuits. Statistics back up the disparity of trust within companies, as a 2016 Edelman Trust Barometer survey showed that 64% of executives trust their companies compared to only 51% of managers and 48% of average employees. To address this concern, companies must prioritize transparency and honesty in their actions. Social media company Buffer serves as an example in pioneering transparency, publishing the salaries of employees along with the rationale behind pay grades, as well as releasing pricing models and revenue data. Consequently, this transparency attracted a surge of interest, increasing job applications to the company by 50%. Maintaining frequent and open communication channels is another vital component in building trust. Internet video hosting company Wistia switched to a weekly all-hands show-and-tell meeting where everyone has the opportunity to present their ideas, projects, or news. This fosters inclusion and keeps employees informed about the company's progress. However, effective communication doesn't stop at mere announcements, it requires heartfelt and honest conversations. How someone conveys information is as important as its content. Transparent explanations of the reasoning behind decisions ensure employees feel valued and included, contributing to a thriving and trusting workplace environment. Crafting an unforgettable company identity. For a company to stand out and flourish, it must have a clearly defined purpose, mission, and values. Start by determining the what, the why, and the how of your organization. Communicating these principles effectively is just as crucial as defining them, so involve your employees in the process to create a strong, resonant organizational culture. Envision writing an obituary for your company, how do you want it to be remembered? What did it hold dear and strive for? The responses to these inquiries form the second beam of your organization's foundation, its purpose, mission, and values. Clarifying these aspects not only boosts employee productivity, but also nurtures long-term health and resilience. To commence, consider your mission as the what, your purpose as the why, and your values as the how. In essence, ask yourself, what is your primary objective? Why is it significant? And how can you accomplish it? For instance, Reward Gateway, the author's firm, aims to improve workplaces by delivering cutting-edge, customer-centric technology solutions, and promoting employee engagement. Identifying a strong sense of purpose and mission also increases job satisfaction and lowers stress levels, as demonstrated by studies conducted by Wharton Business School professor Adam Grant. However, just formulating these ideological principles is not enough, they must also be disseminated effectively. Take Vasu's Communications, an Australian telecoms company, as an example. They effectively communicate their values by articulating them in a humorous, easy-to-remember manner, such as, clever company, no muppets, have a crack, don't screw the customer, and, don't be a d asterisk 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 head. These memorable values foster a customer-oriented attitude that permeates their employees' daily work. Involving your employees in the process of defining your company's values is vital. Seek their input on what the organization represents and use their perspectives as the foundation for a robust and enduring company culture. Aligning management with values. To effectively align management with company values, it's essential to create an environment where employees thrive and establish HR policies that reflect the organization's mission, purpose, and values. Adapt performance review systems like GAP Incorporated's GPS model and involve employees in reviewing and aligning company policies to build a stronger organization. In any organization, leadership conveys the message while management takes the action. Both elements are crucial, but the key to success lies in aligning them properly. One way to achieve this alignment is by ensuring that management adheres to and reflects the company's values. In doing so, Employees remain engaged and committed to the company's success. Managers play a significant role in shaping a company's life as they are responsible for hiring, firing, and guiding teams through day-to-day -day operations and professional development. Frustratingly, some managers do not live up to the company's carefully crafted values, 
leading to environments where employees struggle to perform optimally. For instance, the account of Elliot, one of the authors, reveals how he discovered clauses in his contract that contradicted the company's professed values. Despite emphasizing trust and humanity, the contract prohibited employees from joining competitors and withheld benefits during the probationary period. Such misalignments between stated values and actual policies can confuse and distress employees, who expect one thing but receive another entirely. To successfully engage management, it's vital to design HR policies that consider employee interests and accurately represent the company's mission, purpose, and values. Gap Incorporated, a clothing retailer, offers a striking example of this through their performance review system, Grow. Perform. Succeed. GPS. Like a car navigation system, GPS helps employees stay on course and achieve their goals. GAP's GPS model eschews the outdated, inflexible methods of ratings and checklists and places the individual at the forefront. It emphasizes personal goals and provides more comprehensive and candid performance reviews. The system's effectiveness has led to improvement in performance across GAP Incorporated, with Harvard Business School featuring it as a case study in its MBA program. However, implementing a groundbreaking review system like GPS is not the sole solution. All companies can take the practical approach of involving employees in examining their contracts and company policies. By identifying areas causing discomfort, organizations can revise legally modifiable sections and clarify the language used. This simple yet powerful exercise can set the stage for better alignment between management practices and company values, fostering a stronger, more harmonious organization. Empowering Leadership in Modern Workplace the modern workplace has undergone a transformation where employee voice plays a significant role. Websites like Glassdoor, where employees can review their employers, promote transparency in the business world with 41 million users every month. Leadership and management have become vital for organizations, as employees are more adaptable to changes when they respect and trust their managers. Halfords, a British retailer, has utilized this understanding and created a leadership model that tracks performance based on employee feedback, resulting in a 13% sales increase over five years. In today's dynamic work environment, employees are empowered to express their opinions and influence company policies. Embracing this change, top-down managerial approaches evolved to incorporate employee insights, fostering more engaged and effective teams. A prime example of this shift is Halfords, the British leisure and car accessory retailer. Recognizing the importance of valuing employee opinions, they developed a tailored leadership model to guide their business and cultivate better leaders. Halfords tracks each leader's performance with a unique leadership index based on how employees perceive their management. By understanding how employees view their leadership, Halfords is well equipped to address problems and make improvements. This model has significantly contributed to a 13% increase in sales over five years. However, excellent leadership doesn't solely rely on accepting employee feedback but on including team members in the decision-making process. The British charity St. John Ambulance epitomizes this inclusive approach by involving employees in important decisions through a series of consultation sessions. This collaborative method ensures everyone has a stake in the organization's future. Though it may seem obvious to work collaboratively when establishing objectives and solutions, many companies fail to prioritize this crucial step. Such oversight consequently leads these businesses to miss out on an opportunity to gain invaluable insights and build robust relationships with their employees. In the evolving modern workplace, empowering leadership and open communication are essential to success. Make jobs engaging and fulfilling. Adam Smith's production line model, which treats employees as components of a machine, still persists today, prioritizing efficiency over job satisfaction. However, well-designed job roles increase engagement, autonomy, and self-determination by providing challenge and control. Workplaces that foster freedom, responsibility, and smaller team models for quicker communication witness higher engagement rates and overall success. Picture a world where everyone loves their job and works passionately. 
While it may seem far-fetched, it's closer than you think. In the 18th century, economist Adam Smith created the production line model for employees, trading job satisfaction for efficiency. However, there's a significant factor in employee satisfaction overlooked in this model, job design. The fifth beam of the engagement bridge, job design, is crucial in creating an environment where employees thrive. High engagement jobs, which offer both challenge and control, lead to more satisfied workers that have more control over their roles. This autonomy and self-determination invigorate passion and commitment. Often, company decision-makers focus on their complex tasks and fail to notice the dissatisfaction in lower-tier employees. Consequently, the critical issue of poor job design slips under the radar. To address disengagement, we must begin by crafting jobs that balance freedom with responsibility. Workers need room for growth, experimentation, and failure while still being accountable. There are already companies striving to incorporate this philosophy. Valve Corporation, a video game developer, has gone with a completely flat hierarchy, where every employee has the freedom to innovate and set their own course, which works wonders for their engagement levels. Similarly, software marketer HubSpot recognized that smaller product teams led to increased autonomy and better communication among team members. By yielding impressive employee engagement rates, smaller teams bring to light the importance of job design in establishing a thriving workplace. By reimagining job design, we can bridge the gap between Smith's 18th century model and today's employees, liberating them from the machine-like roles and empowering them with an opportunity for growth and transformation. It's time to redefine our approach to work and create an engaging, fulfilling future. Cultivating a learning culture A thriving workplace stems from the availability of growth opportunities for employees. Modern technology offers numerous training tools, but true success in learning and development goes beyond formal courses. When an organization's values include freedom to experiment and learn through occasional failures, employee progress flourishes. Emphasizing a forward-looking mindset and providing programs tailored to address the future challenges of a workforce fosters a strong learning culture. One remarkable example is KFC Australia's hashtag MyPlan, a program that caters to the long-term goals and aspirations of its employees beyond their time with the company. In its first year alone, about 4,000 staff members participated. To successfully nurture an ingrained learning culture, it's crucial to evaluate current strategies, understand the motivation behind implementing these tactics, and design programs focused on clear objectives. Unleashing Recognition's Power In the early 1990s, Elliot experienced two types of recognition for his innovative work. The first was direct praise, which made him feel valued and appreciated. The second was a late, impersonal gift from a centralized HR department, which left him feeling undervalued and demotivated. This illustrates how poorly designed recognition schemes can waste billions of dollars and fail to engage employees. Research shows most recognition spending goes towards tenure rewards, while most employees would feel appreciated with a simple thank you. Employees crave continuous and timely feedback, which can be achieved through well-developed recognition programs that involve peer-to-peer -peer nominations and multiple levels of gratitude. In the 1990s, Elliot designed an innovative system that streamlined administrative tasks for his team. His boss personally thanked him and nominated him for an award, creating a sense of satisfaction and accomplishment. Contrastingly, Elliot's experience soured when he later received a belated impersonal reward from his company's HR department. His story demonstrates that many official recognition schemes are ineffective, costly, and fail to engage employees. In the United States alone, companies spend approximately $46 billion annually on recognition programs, equivalent to about 2% of total pay. Despite this spending, a glaring disconnect exists between management and employees' perceptions of recognition. While 80% of senior staff believe their employees feel valued, only 17% of employees say their organization supports strong recognition. The issue lies in how the recognition budget is allocated. 
a Burson and Associates study discovered 87% of recognition spending goes to tenure-based rewards, which often fail to make employees feel valued. The author's survey revealed that 72% of employees would feel appreciated with a simple thank you for their efforts. Essentially, employees desire continuous, timely recognition that motivates them to dedicate their time and energy to the company. Feedback, the seventh beam of engagement, plays a critical role in workplace satisfaction. HomeServe, a DIY company, implemented a successful recognition program that incorporated a four-tiered system of annual awards, quarterly awards, and e-cards for daily acts of hard work. The program's effectiveness results from its multi-leveled structure, gratitude is expressed by both upper management and colleagues. In its first year, 22,000 e-cards were sent, and 5,000 awards were exchanged among 3,000 employees. The key takeaway is that recognition programs should make employees visible to their superiors and each other. Following the model of peer-to-peer -peer nomination programs like HomeServes ensures your workforce feels genuinely motivated, engaged, and appreciated. Fairness in pay and benefits. Ensuring pay and benefits are fair and transparent forms an essential part of the engagement bridge. While a bigger paycheck isn't always the solution to disengagement, fairness in compensating employees significantly boosts morale and retention. Successful companies prioritize equal pay and incorporate bonuses into base salaries. To truly cater to employees' needs, seeking feedback from the workforce helps in making necessary adjustments and fostering a culture of fairness. Diving deeper into the engagement bridge, we'll explore the significance of pay and benefits as central pillars in preventing employee disengagement. Although higher salaries may not eliminate disengagement completely, they can be an effective strategy in keeping employees satisfied and motivated. The key lies not in the salary amount itself, but in the perception of fairness among the workforce. For instance, a 2003 experiment involving two capuchin monkeys revealed how essential fair treatment and rewards were for maintaining motivation. Both monkeys were content when receiving equal rewards but became disgruntled when one received more valuable treats than the other. Similar to the monkeys, people can experience dissatisfaction when faced with perceived inequality in the workplace. Studies examining workplace dynamics, including a 2017 survey of HR professionals, often conclude that income inequality serves as a significant stressor for employees. Companies aiming to create a supportive and engaging environment must focus on establishing fairness in pay and benefit structures. One such example is software company Basecamp, which maintains a strict policy of equal pay for people on the same level and integrates bonuses into base salaries. To develop and maintain an effective pay and benefits scheme, it's crucial to consult employees and gather feedback on their needs and preferences. By understanding what they value, companies can create a fair and inclusive compensation culture that keeps employees engaged and committed to their work. Agile Workspaces and Productivity More than just appearances, workspaces make a significant impact on employee productivity and collaboration. Agile working and keeping up to date with technology provide enhanced environments for interaction and efficient task management. To optimize your office space, evaluate the existing setup, identify areas for improvement, and involve employees in the decision-making process. Consistent and committed implementation will result in positive changes despite potential initial resistance. Workspaces go beyond visual appeal, employee interaction with their physical and virtual environment is crucial. To optimize this interaction, two primary factors come into play, adopting agile working concepts and updating technology infrastructure. Agile working revolutionizes traditional office setups by promoting mobility and flexibility. Instead of being confined at their desks, employees accomplish different tasks in various areas of the office, fostering a vibrant atmosphere. This method increases spontaneous encounters among colleagues, boosting collaborative opportunities. Another critical component is technological infrastructure. Employees need seamless access to information, and outdated systems hamper productivity. About 72% of workers face difficulties locating necessary information due to outdated systems. 
Upgrading technology is vital to ensure smooth and effective workflows. Implementing such significant changes can be challenging and may face initial resistance. However, it is essential to remain persistent and follow through with reforms to create a conducive workplace. For instance, when General Electric CEO in Sydney implemented Agile Working, employees eventually appreciated the interactive and dynamic environment despite initial pushback. Similarly, Money.co.uk collaborated with interior designer Lawrence Lulan Bowen to overhaul a historical British castle into an innovative workspace. Employees played an active role in the decision-making process, contributing to its success. To transform your workplace, first assess the current situation and identify areas of improvement, such as additional meeting rooms, quiet spaces, or enhancing comfort levels. Collaborate with employees to gather their input and consider their perspective for a more comprehensive and successful implementation. Boosting productivity through well-being. The average worker takes only four sick days per year, but reports feeling too stressed or fatigued to fully concentrate at work for an additional 57 days. To combat this, companies must focus on employee well-being, including mental and financial health. Encouraging open discussions about mental health and finances can ease anxiety, while a personalized, holistic approach to employee wellness results in better business performance and innovation. British company Travis Perkins PLC implemented a financial well-being program tailored to employees' unique needs, mapping out financial milestones and offering relevant support. Similarly, web hosting provider Weebly's sabbatical program grants long-term staff six weeks of paid leave and round-trip airfare to rejuvenate and prevent burnout. These strategies showcase the benefits of going beyond physical health and promoting overall well-being in the workplace. Building a robust engagement bridge The engagement bridge is a powerful tool for nurturing a productive and harmonious work environment. By implementing simple, yet fundamental principles, such as open communication, honesty, and fairness, organizations can build trust and ensure employees feel valued. Keep in mind that these principles are universally applicable and often taught to children at a young age. It's crucial to align your company's mission and goals with the elements of the engagement bridge, as every organization is unique. Assess your company's needs and objectives, and use them to inform your strategy for building employee engagement. Examples of mission goals include Netflix's, Awesome Colleagues, and Amazon's, Customer Focus through Brave Leadership. By defining your mission and implementing the engagement bridge principles, you'll create a work environment where employees are eager to contribute to the company's success. In conclusion, Build It, the Rebel Playbook for World-Class Employee Engagement, presents a comprehensive guide to improving employee engagement through Elliott and Corey's model, the Engagement Bridge trademark. Showcasing various components, from clear communication to employee well-being, this summary highlighted the importance of aligning and strengthening each element in creating an engaging work environment. By implementing the Engagement Bridge trademark within your organization, you can propel your company towards fostering a dynamic and motivated workforce that is eager for success.